Hello, and welcome back to the Talos Principle. Today, we have one final demo to go through, a prototype. Allegedly for Gehenna, we've done the short demo, we've done the, the demo, and well, let's check this one out before we jump back into the main game and try and get all of the uh, achievements and all of that stuff. That's probably going to take a while and just be mostly pointless, like running through the same levels again, but we'll see how much I just cut out from that. So. Prototype. What is this? Oh. No, it is like... Wait, is it Gehenna or is it just like generally a prototype for the game? Huh. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Might want to fly around here a little bit after the end. But I guess I should just make backups. Like actual backups before I do any cheating in any save. Just in case. Just in case. Puzzle set four, puzzle set five. This sounds like it's gonna be kind of extensive if there's like multiple sets of puzzles. Yeah, five sets of puzzles and lost level. Okay, all right. Oh man, yeah, prototype levels. I think these were kind of a, uh, these might've been what they were doing like for prototypes in the making of, in the making of video. They kind of had these, like, very bare brick walls, which apparently it's kind of fun. Like, these, all these textures in the game and stuff are apparently, they're, they're just photographs. And, like, all of the statues and stuff you see, like, I guess it's, it's not unheard of, but still, just, like, they took photographs of actual statues and, like, mapped all of the individual points to 3D models and basically just, like, modeled real things into the game. It's not just like, you know, oh, let's just make a statue. So it's it's actually like you're playing real life in that sense. Number one, no title for the puzzle though. And I guess number one is just, this is what a jammer is. Check it out. One hell of a box. Yeah, I remember seeing these in the making of. They still have this effect, like the effect is there even though the model is a lot better afterwards. Oh, but we were done. Oh my god. Oh, I can't. Excellent. Thanks. Was that a serious Sam thing? Probably. Number two. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh god. Thank god they made that a little more pleasant, even though they're still annoying as they are in the, the real game. That is a horrible sound. And I mean, I guess we should just do this. Yeah, okay, same same effect there. Yeah, so these are just the prototypes for the level, uh, for, for the game, that they, like, designed when they they still thought this was going to be a Serious Sam thing, before they uh, realized that, like, hey, we actually have something, like, working here that could be an entire separate game of it, its own. And then they, like, started thinking about the philosophy and all of that stuff. This seems to work the same as well. Uh-huh. Oh, and we just get more of them. That's... You could have done something else. You could have done, like... Yeah, you could have needed us to do this instead. But, I mean, I guess, again, it's a prototype. Like, if we jam this guy instead, we can then take this one and then use this here and this one here. And then we have a free jammer. So let's see if we can take this into, like level three or something. Can I walk past it? I can't. And no, we can't. Can't use the jammer. All right, well, got a free jammer, at least. Number three. Are we gonna start using connectors or is it still just jammers? The jammer was like the first mechanic that they came up with. Levers, uh-huh. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Simple proof of concept. Thanks. Number five. Do we see a wire? We do not, so we have to jam it, if anything. Oh, now they're probably doing what I what I just said. Now we'll have to, like, jam this from over here so that we can take the jammer over there and jam the, uh, the turret. Yeah, so I guess I was just a little too quick on the draw. Yeah, 
Okay. So we'll jam this guy. Grab jammer. Do that. And there we go. Oh, and this guy doesn't even go that far. Very, very nice guy, this guy. Number six. Nothing in here. And that's just the end. Uh-huh. Okay, alright, I just had to check. What if we don't, like, go all the way to it? Will it just continuously run in- Jesus, okay, nope. I was thinking if I stayed further away from it, it would just, like, go into the the fence and just keep going into it and into it and into it and just never be able to catch me, but nope, it's just, like, a scripted when you step into this range, it will kill you in this amount of time or whatever. I guess not technically, because you can run away from it. Like, you can delay the explosion by running away, but it's still gonna happen. Alright, so what are we doing here? Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're locking this guy in. Again, another concept. But can't this guy... Oh, he's here now. Can't this guy go through this door as well? Is that a problem? Yeah, okay, he can. I think in the real game they can't, right? Like, I'm pretty sure they polished that up so that bombs can't just... or mines can't just, like blow you up when they really shouldn't. When they shouldn't be able to reach you. But yeah, there we go. Excellent. Number seven. This just keeps going. Yeah, holy crap. Okay, I guess the, the prototype might take a while to go through. We got a jammer again. And then a lever. So we just do that. And then now we can reuse our, our jammer. Yeah. Okay. Number eight. I guess just like sneaking past mines is the, the concept now. Like avoiding this area. Yeah. And then we just jam this guy. Or do we? Yeah. Hold on, one second. Okay, that's where we're going. So, I mean, I can just go there, right? Like, what's this about? Oh, we're turning this guy off. What? Why would I need to? I don't... I don't need another jammer. Right? Can't I just do this? Yeah. That's weird. That almost seems like a bit of an oversight. Like, they, they thought you would jam this guy and keep him jammed. And then, well, jam this, go in, turn this guy off, keep this guy jammed, and then go and grab this jammer. But hey, again, now we have a free jammer. Well done. Well done. No, what? Number 20? Okay, we're skipping ahead, I guess, a little bit. Or are we now in, like, level set 2 or something? So it's gonna be 2-1 and so on? Well, if it was 2-1, then wouldn't it be called 2-1 at this point? Are we now gonna start delving into, like, jamming the same thing so that it frees up the previous jammer? Probably. Oh! Keys? Uh-huh. I guess that's what we're doing? Yeah, okay. So not quite what I said yet, but this this puzzle was like in the main game, in the first level, right? Or somewhere in the A-Hub, I think? Where you like jammed to get around a key wall, a key door. Yeah, I see. So now they teach you about that. Because, uh, yeah, we, we don't have any more jammers. Now they teach you about 
jamming the same door multiple times so that we can then, like, take this with us, like so. Excellent. 19? What? What is happening? Now we're going backwards? I'm confused. Guess we're jamming this guy, so we can grab the jammer. Oh, I see. That's what they, they teach you about here. That mines will blow up anything in their range, not just necessarily you. We just get tons and tons of jammers here. And that, like, jammers can block the paths of, of mines. Uh, so is that it, or do we need to ferry more? Yeah, that is it, but we could ferry more. Ah, I was expecting, like, a little secret or something. Because once again, I can definitely grab another one by doing this. And then that. And then this. Here we go. I could potentially even grab two. Ah, I, I could have. I could if I repositioned that, but it doesn't really matter. 18! Yeah, what is happening? Why are we going from, like, 1 to, what was it, like, 7 or 8? And then from 20 down again? This is strange. Now they teach you about elevation, I suppose? Keys once again. I mean, I could just parkour around here, right? I could just jump to the exit, I'm pretty sure. But what am I supposed to do? Oh, what is that? I'm going. Oh, that's a different level, I see. Uh-oh. Okay. We're in 18, still, yeah. I thought that would, like, uh, ruin something. No, oh, still need to go and fetch the key again. Well, shit. Okay, does that work? That works. Alright. It's a... I mean, not really an oversight. It's a prototype, but I guess it's a bug of sorts that you lose the key and the key doesn't respawn. Oh, shit! Forgot about that. So... What are we doing now? Oh yeah, this is very similar to uh, another level in the A Hub, right? Oh fuck you! Okay, that man, I'm glad they fixed that up and made it less annoying, so you don't have to be afraid of them when they're like in a different lane entirely. But yeah, that's that's the one where you have to like guide a bomb into a a turret, like upstairs and through doorways and stuff like that. Can I just jump over here? Sure enough. So I'm pretty sure if I if I just jump there, hug the wall, I would be fine, and then I could just exit. But let's see what you actually are meant to do. Is there anything over there? No. Yeah, these are a little scary now. When you have to be careful. Oh god! You have to be careful of like both lanes. Just gonna follow this guy out. 
Careful. Okay, there we go. So, what's this about? Like, are you supposed to jam him from, no, from here? From here? Ah, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to jam from here so that you can use the keys and go to the, uh, the exit. But then, can we jump anywhere else? Like, does anything go anywhere here? Not really, it's just outside. Oh, I wondered. These probably blow you up from, like, this high up as well. No, they don't. Okay. I was gonna say I would test it, because if I die, I could just do the cheese method anyway. Because, yeah, like, pretty sure you can just cheese it very, very easily by just doing this. There we go. Level complete. Speed run. Thanks. 16. Yeah, this is... If this is just level set one, and it's not, like, going into the, the next ones without actually... Ooh, yeah, that's that's a problem. Without going back to the hub, then this might be quite a lot of levels. I guess they did mention this in the making of. They said they made, like... I, I can't remember, like, 70-odd levels or something as prototypes. Oh my god. I'm so dead. Whoa! Whoa! Through the wall again. Okay. This is... This is not as good. Not a huge fan of this. Yeah, this is not a puzzle at all. This is just avoiding mines. And they're even jankier than they are in the main game. What do we do? I don't see any opening. I mean, I guess go past this guy now? No, like, that that's not possible. What? What are you talking about? This isn't possible to do anything in, right? Can I, like, sneak by when... Nope, there's no way I can sneak by. This just seems wrong. Like, this doesn't seem solvable. There's no way, I mean, we. I guess we could sneak past there. No, there's, there's no way. You don't have an opening. What the hell? Can we do that? Can we jump past the trigger of it? If that's what's intended, that's kind of stupid. Oh my god, you can do that? I don't know if that's... If that's what you're intended to do, because that's really fucking dumb. I mean, maybe that means I can jump around this corner instead, but let's try this one more time. Yeah, that that's a stupid level. That's a stupid level. That's just terrible. Good thing they toned those down a little bit for the main game, but... Again, those levels were by far my least favorite when it was just like, oh, just weave between like 60 mines because that's fun, right? I was not a fan of that at all. All right, so this is again very reminiscent of an A-Hub level, I, I believe, where you just have to like make sure you uh, undo everything. So like now we re rejam this one here and then rejam this one here. And then we can slowly, like, ferry out all of these. And then the bomb will blow up the turret as well. Yeah, and now we have three jammers, so... I guess I'll do that. But then we can ferry as well. Oh, is that, like... Oh god, uh... 
Okay, they still had that mechanic in place, where you can't take something from from outside another door. But yeah, okay, that's all you need to do. Impressive. 14! How long is this gonna take? I can't remember when it skipped up to 20. Would be nice to do like one full level set. Oh, right, so I guess we do like this kind of thing. Eh, that's not gonna work. We need another. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. That or another jammer would have been fine as well. Oh, right, yeah, fairy. And that's it. Okay. Oh, what was that flying thing again? Yeah. Just in a different level, I, I suppose. Is that like a... Oh, that's a turret. Yeah, I see. The turrets are like loaded from all the other levels. So, 13. We can almost get to the exit right away. Too bad it's all just flat, so we can't like jump up on a rock and skip everything. Oh, I see. Yeah, that turns it on. And I guess this is just to teach you that, like, the mine won't consider this a threat if you don't have it active, I think. Yeah, so if we just do this and let the mine out, it does nothing. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that that's a neat way to show that. So now we have to jam this, turn it on, then free the the mine. And now it considers it an enemy and blows it up. Yeah. That's a neat prototype. Excellent. 12. Oh, and once again, a hub puzzle. Yeah, interesting to see all these puzzles kind of like recycled. Uh, it's still gonna be dangerous, though. Yeah, exactly! God! These are terrible! These fucking mines are so... overpowered in the prototype. It's going through walls and ruining your day. Crap. Alright, I'm gonna... find- hold on. Let's, like, sync them up and then just, like... Yeah, go when it's like that. There we go. That's better. Excellent. Eleven. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I knew we were at least at seven or eight, so if it goes down to that again and it's new levels, then I don't know what's happening. If we're just in a different level set entirely at that point. So we ferry to begin with. Always ferry. Teleporter! Are we done? And we're done! That was level puzzle set one! Crazy! Yeah, that's a lot of puzzles! And we have two, three, four, and five, and lost level. Alright, I'm gonna leave it off here. Again, this is way more than I expected from the prototype, but we'll check all of them out. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I guess we'll see, like, how long each puzzle set is, because if it's, like, just slightly shorter than an episode or slightly longer than an episode, maybe I'll try and keep each puzzle set as one video just to, you know, have them as like individual videos that maybe could help someone in the future or whatever. Not that this is a walkthrough or by any means, but you know, maybe someone would find help in like the bullshit mine level or something like that. Yep, couldn't blame you. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.